I guess, how do you uh, feel like you've progressed during camp? How much better do you think you've gotten during camp? And do you think it would have been the same progress you would have had, uh, you know, during a normal offseason? You, f- you feel like you accomplished just as much, even with that OTAs in mini camp? Uh, yeah, no, nah, I mean, I feel like I'm progressing pretty good. Uh, I think I'm about, I mean, we're getting into preparations and everything, but I feel good going into game one. You know, I'm blessed to, you know, be able to go up against, you know, one of the best tackles in the NFL every day. So, you know, I feel like, you know, I'm getting good work in every day, regardless of the situation. And, and how much did the experience against Denver last year maybe help you in prep for this year? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, playing against them last year. So, I mean, we have a good idea of, you know, what guys are like, you know, on their team, obviously from playing them. Uh, but, uh, well, yeah, no, I think it helps that we played them last year and we just got to go out there and make sure – we don't beat ourselves and just do what we do. Uh, Teresa. Good morning, Harold. There's so much chatter here over the last 12 hours ish about Jadevian Clowney. How do you in that room maybe focus on, you know, trying to wrap up the, the, the next few days and turn your attention to Denver while all that's going on? Yeah, I don't see it as a, a distraction at all. I mean, we're just focused on a, making sure that today is the best day we can make it. Um, but no, it hasn't, it hasn't been a distraction. If that were to happen, uh, have you had, do you think about it at this point or you just deal with it if it happens? Yeah, no, I haven't really put much thought into it. I'm just, you know, worried about trying to be the best herald I can be out there on the field. And then if it happens, it happens. Uh, Terry? Harold? From a, speaking from a defensive player's perspective, I'm trying to, you know, work on a story about Derrick Henry. What does it look like when you see a guy like that approaching you and ready to tackle? I know you, you get to go against him in practice, but you don't get to do it live. What kind of look is that for a defensive player seeing that guy come at you? I mean, I don't know. I mean, regardless of who's coming at me, I got a job to make the tackle. So I'm going to do what I got to do to make the tackle, you know, regardless of, you know, who I have to tackle, you know what I'm saying? Do you, you feel like that Derek, though, is a site that opposing linebackers or opposing defenders in general, you know, have to have to brace up for in terms of just how big he is and how and how fast and powerful he can be? Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, you, you, you can see that last year all on the film. Um, but, yeah, no, nah, he's definitely a specimen, and, you know, he takes advantage of his guy giving, uh, you know, everything. So, yeah, no, nah, I could definitely see that being a problem for defenses. Uh, Buck? Yeah, Harold, you guys obviously run multiple fronts in your defense, but when you when you guys as outside linebackers are asked to take on these bigger offensive tackles, what kind of – obviously there are tools that you get coached up on, but what specifically do they, do they tell you to try and help mitigate the size disadvantage that you might have in those situations? I uh, mean – you know, I would I would say you know it's good to have size, but at the end of the day, I feel like you know if you're if you're strong and you play with good leverage and fundamentals and technique, you know that'll that'll eliminate the size advantage. So I, I never really worried about that. I just you know worry about you know being as strong as I can and playing with leverage, some bend, and just taking it from there. Chris Harris. Hey, Harold, I'm curious as to your thoughts on what Jadavion Clowney's skill set provides for a team from when you've seen him in years past. Uh, his skill set, I mean, if just from like watching him in games, you know, he's pretty disruptive. Uh, but I haven't really, you know, watched him like on film film, you know what I'm saying? So I can't really speak on that. Yeah, sorry. You have like a, just a, a general sense of what he can do for a defense? Be disruptive. Uh, yeah, Harold, in, in terms of stats for, for your position and, and the role on defense, do you feel like sacks get overrated in, in terms of rating how effective somebody is rushing the passer? No, nah, I mean, if your film backs up your production, then you're a hell of a player. So, you know, my job is to get after the quarterback, and I feel like that's the best way I can help the team. So, Whatever your numbers are at the end of the season, the film needs to back it up. Causing consistent pressure is a big key to that, though. I mean, do you measure that off pressures probably more than anything else? 
Uh, I don't know. I really don't get into the numbers. I just look at the film. You know, I just watch the film and see if the guy consistently getting to the 